Climbing Forward Bend that comes in the second half of the Ashtanga Yoga Primary Series. It's not just about flexibility, but is a balance between strength and flexibility. So let's take a look at the dynamics of that posture. You would jump through and straighten your legs and then exhale and lie down. So after you lie down, you want to suck in the low belly. Then you're lifting your right leg. Now when you lift the right leg, avoid any turnout, avoid bending your knee, just keep the head of that right femur straight into the hip socket right here. Then you're going to take your left hand, place it onto the left thigh. You're going to reach up, flex your foot so you can hold on here, stabilize your pelvis, and then stabilize that left leg. Then exhale and lift up, all right? So you'll notice my head is nowhere near my knee. I'm doing this all with the core strength of my body, and this would be all about the strength. Now, rather than being all about the strength, you want to balance between strength and flexibility. So you're going to bring your knee towards your head. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, take the head down and stabilize your pelvis and make sure you don't lean with your hips, but exhale, take the leg out to the side, externally rotating your hip joint as you look over to the left. And you'll notice that with this hand, I'm pressing on my hip as hard as I can to make sure that the hip stays planted into the ground. We're externally rotating the right hip joint, so that's rolling into the thigh. After five breaths, inhale, roll back to the center, exhale, take it up and reach the the head to the knee, inhale, take the head down, and exhale, take your legs down, putting both hands onto your thighs. Now, lucky for you when you do this, you won't have a mic in the back of your body, so you'll be able to rest in the ground, but actually this is a really good movement to keep the body really lifted. Let's try the left side, taking the leg up, and inhale, hold onto your foot, point your toe if you can, Exhale, take your body up, and I really want you to try this for a moment. Imagine that you're so strong, and I'm not that strong yet, so you could touch your head to your knee without moving back. But because we want that balance, remember, don't externally rotate. Keep that leg in parallel. Bring the head towards the knee. One, two, three, four, and five, and then inhale. Take the head down, and now watch what goes on in that left hip joint, especially around the outside of the left thigh. Exhale, take the leg down, out to the side reach over. Now here's what you want to avoid. If I lean over, you can see my pelvis come off the ground. You want to avoid that. So that's what this hand is doing. You're pressing your pelvis into the ground even if your leg remains up. You want to ideally press so much into your pelvis that your left hip releases and you can look over your left shoulder. But if you can't do that, you just leave the leg wherever it is. After five breaths, inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, take it up. Let it reach into your head. Inhale, take it down, and exhale, taking the legs down, both hands on your thighs. The traditional exit from this is Chakrasana, so you would roll all the way backwards, but we don't need to demonstrate that now. If you're unfamiliar with Chakrasana, you can check out one of my other videos on that. Thanks for watching.